If everything seems boring, if all you think about doing seems pointless, if nothing can give you lasting satisfaction, then you are not depressed. You're finally ready to see that life is meaningless. Real learning comes about when the competitive spirit has ceased. It's a quote from Jiddu Krishnamurti. You see, most people are trapped in a cycle, unaware that they are chasing riches, fame, power, status, love, or something else that they are brainwashed to believe that will give them lasting satisfaction in life. The thing they crave for but can't really put a name on. But are you different? Well, if you're watching this, you might have seen through some, if not all of these chases, and you see that they are pointless. Maybe because you've gotten some of them, Maybe you got love, maybe you got power, maybe you got money, and you found out afterward that it was not enough, you see? It feels empty. You think about the next thing, the next mountain to climb. At least that is what I always did. That has always happened to me whenever I reached the goal, a target that I was shooting for for so long. By the way, if you're new here, I'm Jordan, 23 years old, did over $4 million in revenue, I had over 50 people, and I started making videos on YouTube since 2012. So if you are standing right now on that mountain that you were climbing last year or for the last decade, and you take a time to look, you look over mountains in front of you that are even higher, even bigger, even more beautiful, even more shiny, even with more snow, whatever it is, you may be one who sees, not because of me, but because you clicked on this video, this view that it is beyond disappointed. You see mountains, mountains as far as you can look, and you imagine yourself standing on these higher mountains, these bigger mountains, these better mountains, the ones, the mountains you can talk about after you climb them and others would applause you for them. You look at those and you can't help yourself from seeing the truth. You're climbing these mountains for others. You're climbing them for ulterior motives and you can't climb them any longer. For you've seen the shoes you use, shoes you wear, they were not yours. They were your neighbors, your friends, family. The shoes you use to climb these mountains, the ones that helped you climb those mountains, they were not yours. They were your big brothers or maybe even your fans but not yours and the shoes hurt you're standing there when you look at the other mountains and the shoes hurt hurt a lot i get it they hurt so much you can't wear them any second longer not for one second and you're standing there on the top of the mountain looking standing now standing barefoot and even though the next mountain seems like a challenge to you a challenge that some days feels even exciting almost exciting enough to start climbing or you may be already imagined or started the journey a challenge to overcome barefoot but you can't you can no longer climb not because you lost the physical capabilities not because you lost motivation or this burning desire inside of you you still have that i know but you lost interest isn't it and now you wonder what is next if there are no mountains if there are no shoes that fit me then where should should I walk? Then what should I conquer? Then what is there to fight for? While you ask yourself these questions, take a look at yourself on the top of this mountain. Take a look at yourself as if you were the bird flying above you. What do you see? Who do you see? What would this bird say to you if it could speak? You think this bird is thinking about which mountain to fly to next? Or is this bird looking at you proudly because you climbed this steep mountain with hurting feet? Is this bird trying to find meaning in his life? Is this bird creating a purposeful flight to the next mountain? Or in a race with other birds at who arrives first? What can we learn from this bird who is looking at you as we speak? The bird does not know why he flies. The bird does not know where he flies next. The bird is just flying and looking at you right now with clear blue eyes. But before I mentioned it, you didn't even notice him, even though he's flying right above your head. Thoughts about the past, thoughts about the future, judging the next mountain based on your past memories, judging if the next mountain may be a bad option based on your past memory, based on the memories of other people around you telling you that mountain fame is a bad one to climb. You shouldn't do that. You should pick the other mountain. Maybe mountain trophy is better or mountain humanity even better is that one. Going to Mars, doing something extreme. So you start to think about the mountains next to it, behind it, further away, bigger, better, different. Then you see mountain love, but that one seems painful after your last breakup old memories come up when you look at mountain love memories of betrayal rotation frustration and maybe this happens to each mountain you see you don't see the mountain you only see the thoughts about the mountain which prevents you from seeing the reality in front of you beauty truth and as long as you see thoughts instead of mountains you will feel the consequences of those thoughts instead of the consequences of your beautiful sight it is in seeing clearly with an empty skull, that there is no hope. Hope for meaning, hope for perfect shoes, or hope for the pain at your feet to stop. 
Hope for the best mountain. Hope for the ultimate view. When you can see clearly, you see the reality, the beauty, current view, which is all there is. Past and future don't exist. ID created by the mind. And I know maybe the mind starts to come up now. Well, the past is true that it has happened. Well, that's right. The future has not happened. So that is really clearly an ID and the past can be used. But to most people, they are led by their past or better said the thoughts about the past. They do not control these thoughts. So yes, to most people, they are led by their thoughts about the past. To the truly, intelligent person and to the person who realizes that, that is the one that can use his thoughts whenever he wants but not constantly without thinking about it so then the hope of feeling satisfied on the next mountain has left and it has been replaced by hearing the sound of the flying bird above you he now realizes his usual habit of getting caught up in his mind story and this free bird above him doesn't get caught up in these stories of the mind and by understanding this he becomes free by understanding that thoughts are not real he begins to taste the sense of true freedom i mean his understanding is new but he starts to feel free from defining himself clouds of his thought it is truth that liberates not your efforts to be free that's a quote from jiru krishnamurti and i hope it may hit home to you as it did to me for i was always taught to work hard i mean i was watching these motivational speeches since i was 12. they're so deeply ingrained in me which has given me something but i would argue more bad than good but there's a topic for another video in fact i already made a video about it you can watch it here somewhere so this person who realizes that all these thoughts about the mountains in front of him are just that thoughts they're not real that is the one who starts to see with clearer blue skies just like the bird and yes from time to time buying into these thoughts about the mountains in front of him still come up but as this realization deepens these clouds they don't often come around they start to appear less frequent and they're less thick they don't stick around that much and eventually he doesn't even need to resist clouds of turbulent thinking because they have lost all weight stickiness like the bird he has realized his true nature is the open endless sky itself allowing clouds to come and go but never letting them cloud his breathtaking view talk soon and here's my poem about the essence of this video a man climbed a big mountain high he looked at more mountains touching the sky he had money and things but he felt empty inside what else should i get he said with a sigh then a free bird floated over his head not climbing a mountain just being instead the bird seemed so free with no goal to attain the man watched and started to see things more plain this mountain itself was enough to just be no more mountains to climb he could finally see he let go of the wanting like the bird he was light each breath was amazing each sight was so bright not higher to go no future to arrive just being right here fully alive and if you have a question or you just like to talk with me you can always send me an email or dm me on socials no i won't ask you for money but i only respond to serious people that's it talk soon